Hello everyone, my name is Peter Titov. I'm a solution architect here with Elastic. Today I'm going to set up, show you how to set up ChatGPT and Elasticsearch. So you can use your private data with OpenAI. Now I'm going to be using a cloud cluster and I already have my Python environment uh, set up as well as some of my uh, variables already pre-configured. So, cause I don't want to share with you my open AI key. I know, I'm sorry. But what's cool is after we walk through this, you'll be able to configure all of this on your own. Now you will need your own open AI key. Uh, they're really, really, really cheap. So by all means, uh, I highly encourage you all to get one. I just don't give it out to everyone because then it might not be so cheap. But we're gonna be showing how, how to install and configure the great work that Jeff Vestal has done. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to read this blog, I highly advise you do so. I'm gonna deviate a little bit from this approach and I'll show you where I do uh, so that you can follow along as well. Um, in this example, uh, we're gonna be configuring a cloud-based cluster with ChatGPT using the web crawler component. I'm first gonna show you how to set it up step-by-step step to crawl the Elastic Docs and then configure it for your own data. So you'll have two different sets uh, from where you can build it across. Uh, we're not gonna go through every little nook and cranny, uh, but at the end of this, you'll be able to hopefully watch it at your leisure and follow through. But you'll notice here, you're gonna need an Elastic Cluster, whether in the cloud or on-prem, the Elon Python library, an OpenAI account, and somewhere to where to run this. In my example, I'm doing this in an Ubuntu VM, um, but regardless, uh, follow through the steps. They're really, really easy to get going. Here we have our cluster stood up. The first thing we need is eLand. Now we can do this a couple different ways. Uh, my favorite way is just simply through GitHub. So it's gonna git clone. We paste it from there. CD into it. Pseudo. Docker build dash p elastic slash eland space period. Builds it. Now we need to load our client into our cluster. This is all linked right here. And you can copy and paste it right here. I already have my command preloaded up. Once that starts running, uh, you'll see the status as it's going. It takes about maybe a couple minutes, not too, too bad. Additionally, I also wrote a blog. So if you're doing this on a on your home cluster, if you're running a trial, or if you don't have any um, certificates, you can just pass the dash dash insecure flag. I meant this task type, NER. You don't need it for these instances. As you can see here, everything's starting to get up and loading already. Once that's said and done, we'll validate that the model gets successfully lo loaded into our cluster, and then we'll load up some other uh, components as well, too. So this is the longest part, 78 individual steps, but it goes through relatively quickly. Now it says to start uh, crawling and setting up everything. I like to get everything in place before I go any further, uh, just out of practice. Uh, but you will see here in a few moments how easy it is to get up and running. Now we're going to try and mirror this as close as possible, but uh, it's pretty easy to get up and going. So about halfway there. Once this is done, then we'll do the Streamlit application just so that we have our foundation set and ready to rock and roll once we're, we're good to go. Everything finished. So let's go check out on our model. Go to machine learning, train models. Uh, you may have to synchronize your model. Uh, you'll notice some links up at the top, but everything looks like it's been started. So we're good to go there. Now let's do our Streamlit application. Good measure, let's 
go back one directory, install streamlet. Let's make sure streamlet is good to go. So streamlet, hello. All right. So I did enter my email. I don't want to enter my email. Everything looks great because I can see it's ready to rock and roll on there. Now that that's running, let's also pull down. Um, not this, but Elastic Docs GPT code. So. Good. Um, make sure it's extremely application still good to work from here. Looks good. Cool. So we're going to need this later on uh, to run Streamlit and point it at this Elastic Docs GPT. And we'll customize this later on. Now let's get to the fun part. So we're going to use our web crawler. We can do that. Go into enterprise search overview, create an elastic search index. Now, there's many different ways you can get data in here. We're going to be using the web crawler component. We're going to do this step by step by step. So elastic docs as the name are automatically going to append the search in front of it. The domain that we're going to want to search for, which is going to be this, add domain. Now notice um, it's already saying to do the pipelines. I'm going to skip down and do the crawl rules first. So add crawl rule, disallow, contains. Release notes. Add another crawl. Allow regex guide this. And just to validate, disallow regex. Disallow regex dot star. And then place that in the order that we see here. So release notes up top. Allow uh, that. All right, looks good. Now we can go to our pipelines, copy and customize. Now let's look back. So title vector using that model that we loaded looking for the title field. So add an inference pipeline after we press that blue button up top, call that title vector, title vector, sentence transformers, sentence transformers, it's more than meets the eye. Continue, we want the title, be that custom name, Continue, We're not going to test it. Great pipeline. Now, the other thing before we can crawl, we need to add this mapping for the dense vector that's highly important. I already have mine set and ready to go. You can copy and paste that from instructions. And just to confirm, Dense vector looks good. Okay, now we can begin our crawl. And it'll take a few minutes uh, for that to get up and running. While that's crawling, we can then, oh, so we've got 19 documents already. Application performance monitoring. I like to look at the docs to know what I can search for. So now that that's up and running, I've already 
exported in my cloud ID, cloud password, cloud user, and my open, AP, open AI key. That's really, really, really important. Without that, the Streamlit application is not going to work. So all these variables have to be set. To set those, export cloud ID, you get that from your uh, cloud console, if it's applicable, cloud user, cloud paths, and it's just equal and then whatever the value is. And then finally, OpenAI API. Once those values are set, they're going to be called within here, cloud ID, cloud pass, cloud user, as well as the OpenAI API. Remember, we're now looking at search elastic docs, which we created inside here, search elastic docs. And then the title is what the front of the page is going to look like, elastic docs GPT. And if you can't answer the question, and it submits answer this question only using the information from that index. So with all that said and done, let's go ahead and run Elastic Docs with Streamlit. So Streamlit run Elastic Docs GPT Hi. Now that's up and running. Again, let me just double check. What is say, what is APM as a question to ask? As APM, and then our answer is given. So now that's up and running. We've already done uh, those components. Now let's customize this to our liking. It's two things we're going to want to do. We're going to want to find a new site that we want to crawl. And then we need to customize uh, the Python component. So let's go back to our Elasticsearch indices. We're going to create a new index. We're going to use the web crawler again. I'm going to call this one PGH because that stands for Pittsburgh, which H didn't know. What did I do here? Search PGH, manage domains, validate the domain. Just for giggles, I'm going to look at the sitemap, add that in, add domain, sitemap. Pipeline, but now since I already have my existing one, all I have to do is click Copy and Customize, Add Inference Pipeline, Existing Pipeline, Mel Inference Title Vector. That's it. Pipeline portion is done, but, 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 Index Mappings. Notice there's no dense portion in here. So again, we're going to have to come in here, EGH, put that in. Now we have our dense factor mappings. So we have the domain we're going to crawl, City of Champions, their website, pipeline applied, updated mappings, crawl the domains on that. Now that that's crawling, let's customize our instance over here. So a couple of things that I like to customize when doing this. The first thing that we wanna change is the index. If not, we're gonna be looking in the wrong place. Search, PGH. Next thing we want to change is the title because we're not doing Elastic Docs anymore. We're doing whatever index we're pointing it towards. So in this instance, 
Pittsburgh GPT. And then I like to change the negative response, should it not find anything. I, I'm unable to answer the question based on the information I have from my elastic data set. That's it. Now that that's done, let's rerun the application. Let's take a look at our documents. Uh, access weather resource center. Let's see what is the reason? What is the weather resource center? It's for JPT. Hey, it's already there. What is the weather resource center? Ta-da. And that's it. So what did we all do? We downloaded the Ealing client. We configured the Ealing client to load the train model for sentence transformers to our cluster. We installed the Streamlit application. We pointed them towards the Elastic Docs. We started scraping it and got the Streamlit application to search the Elastic Docs. We then customized it by pointing our cluster at a different site to crawl, modified the Elastic Docs GPT Pi to look at that different index, as well as to change the title of our site, as well as the negative response answer. And that's how easy it is to get up and running uh, with integrating Elasticsearch, ChatGPT, and then modifying it over and over again uh, for your own use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day and happy search.